Hi. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little video that sort of illustrates a problem with the flat earth theory or hypothesis. And so I'm going to look at this balloon that's above me. And then I'm just going to keep changing the distance or I'm just going to go really far away to show what it would look like on the horizon if it stayed at the same altitude. And then we could think about the sun and the moon the same way. Because the flat earth theory or hypothesis says that the the sun and the moon stay at the same altitude as they move further away and they just go in a circle and that the whole globe is like a flattened pancake of a globe sort of and so I'm going to show that that doesn't make any sense also um, my shirt shows like a sun and it shows how cool it is that the sun can be behind the trees and look so big right and the reason it looks so big is because our mind expects it to fade into the distance as it gets further away, but it clearly doesn't because it looks so large. It looks like it gets way, way larger as it starts to set because it's like hundreds of miles away, but it's still the same size. And that's why it always seems like the sun and the moon are larger on the horizon because our mind is actually calculating that or making that figuring that out. Some atmospheric lensing could be the problem too, could be the reason why, but um, they might actually be a little bit larger, but our mind can still look at it and see that they seem larger than they are. So, all right, so straight above me is this huge balloon. That's probably, I don't know, at least 10 feet in diameter probably, because it's like at least 50 feet above me. So, unzooming to see what this looks like when it's not zoomed. It looks like that, right? There's another balloon, by the way. Now, if I go down and I just look at the horizon, so, I mean, that's way larger than the sun would be. I mean, unfortunately, I can't measure the degrees, the angular area that it makes up on my phone right now. Um, but I'm gonna get further away and then we're gonna look at it again. Okay, I have moved probably, I don't know, let's see, I was like over there when I was talking before. So, I'm probably, I don't know, like about the same as the altitude of that balloon away from me. So it's probably at about a 45 degree angle in the sky for me right now. So maybe 50, 60 feet away. So there's the balloon now at regular zoom and right now I, I'm in a convenient place eclipsed by the sun is eclipsed by not only that balloon right now but also by this round light spherical light unfortunately so clearly the sun is smaller even in apparent size than that balloon so but as I get further away it will get much smaller than that sun and it was much larger than the sun before and this is at it's at about a 45 degree angle in the sky okay all right there's an eclipse of it it keeps moving so okay i'm looking at an eclipse of it right now and so it's probably it's still larger than the sun i'm still i'm having to move to freaking keep it as an eclipse okay that's not gonna work it's a balloon, so it, it blows around, so that's that's why I can't... Oh, wait. Oh. All right, I'm going to get hit by traffic if I do this. Okay, so my point is, it's still larger than the sun, but it's at, like, what, a 35-degree angle or something like that? So now I'm going to get in my car, and I'm going to drive further away, and then we'll see if it looks larger than the sun. If I wanted to do this all day, I could just wait till it's... So I'm far enough away that it's smaller than the sun and prove my point, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, now I am probably, I don't know, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a mile away from it now. And now let's look at what it looks like now. Oh, and also notice what it looks, the, the actual kind of crescent of it, but yeah, I'm not going to worry about that right now. But just look straight ahead. 
like, can you even see it, right? It's so small, right? Remember how much larger it was just a minute ago? If I zoom in, there's that skull balloon and then the other balloon. And they're at like, what, maybe 10 degrees in the sky? If it was five degrees in the sky, would we even be able to see it? So that makes my point about the sun. The size of the sun would change in the sky if this was a flat earth and it, the sun just went in a circle on a wheel or something. The sun would be so much smaller on the horizon. Um, you wouldn't get that effect, that feeling of like, wow, the sun is so large because I can see it behind these trees. No, it wouldn't be that way at all. It would be a little speck just like a star when it's set. But that's not at all what we see. In fact, we see the sun become eclipsed by the earth every single time. It doesn't fade into the atmosphere unless there's clouds or something. So it, the reason that the sun doesn't shine in the sky is, is it, it's eclipsing, it's being eclipsed by the earth. And so that's why we have night. And so the flat earth model fails. Thank you.